So today I wanted to do a quick review of the coffee machine I recently purchased. If you haven't watched my unboxing video, it's the Bonavita 5 Cup One Touch. This is the smallest coffee machine Bonavita makes. My previous coffee machine got damaged, so I decided to use a French press for a while. In the end, I got tired of the time it takes to prepare it. Plus, I really disliked the gunk at the bottom of my coffee cup, so I decided to buy another coffee machine. In my research, I discovered that Bonavita seemed to come up as a good brand for coffee making. The main feature I was looking for is a consistent cup of coffee, and the Bonavita definitely delivers. I paid $75 for it, which is less than what it usually goes for. It looks and feels high quality even for its size. The transparent water reservoir is a feature I didn't realize I needed. It's helpful because you can see if there's anything stuck or if the machine needs cleaning. Brewing is nothing different if you've ever used the coffee machine before. The recommended amount of coffee in the manual is 10 grams of grinded coffee per 5 ounces of water. That will brew a very strong cup of coffee in my opinion. Also because it's an European brand, 5 ounces sounds like a small cup of coffee. And you'll lose some water when it finishes brewing. So for that reason I use around 15 grams of coffee and 11 ounces of water when I want to make a cup for myself. It also depends on the coffee, how strong it is, and the size of your grind. When the coffee is done brewing, which doesn't take long, you have to remove the filter holder, change it to the coffee top, then you can pour your coffee. Also, since there's no hot plate, the coffee will remain hot in its container, but only for about 20 to 30 minutes. Another feature this machine has is a pre-infusion cycle for a better extraction of freshly roasted coffee. You can turn this on by holding the power up button until it flashes. I haven't been able to really taste the difference with this feature on, perhaps because I haven't sat down in a comfy couch on a rainy day and really savored the coffee. The two complaints I have for this machine are this. For starters, the filter holder is like an extra piece and once you're done brewing your coffee, you have to find somewhere to put it. Another plate perhaps, because otherwise it drips all over. So that can be a bit annoying. Then you have to screw on the top in order to be able to pour the coffee and also to keep the coffee hot. So the issue with the pot itself is that it's not designed well and what happens in the end is that it keeps some of your coffee. The amount that you decide to make isn't going to be the exact amount because some of it is left inside. You have to take that into consideration when measuring out your coffee. Put a little extra coffee, put a little extra water, so then you get what you try to make. Some people in the reviews say that it doesn't bother them, that there's coffee left inside, but it bothers me. I mean, I paid for the water, I paid for the coffee, I expect to drink it. Overall, I like the machine because it accomplishes what I bought it for. A good tasting hot cup of coffee. Do you have a Bonavino? If not, let me know what coffee machine you use and what your favorite way of drinking coffee is. Thanks for watching. Cheers.